Well, hello everyone. Welcome again to Sewing and Growing. My name is Rebecca and I love to sew. So today's video is straight up all about a thrift haul featuring all of these beautiful blankets that I thrifted. So basically I have just been on a quest to find beautiful blankets that have been hand quilted in order to make gorgeous coats and jackets for spring and next fall. I'm kind of obsessed with quilted clothing right now. I've been doing some search online and I've just noticed all of these gorgeous, gorgeous coats and jackets. And I am eager to make something. Right now in Kansas City, it's still pretty cold. I mean, it's actually snowing outside right now. If you could kind of look in that corner, you can see that it's white because the snow is coming down fiercely with a vengeance. So it's going to be cold here for a while. I still have maybe about a month, I'd say, to get a nice spring coat and jacket in. Maybe two months to wear them. It stays cold here usually till the end of April before it really starts you know getting really really warm um, so anyways let me just get started showing you guys this is actually the first quilt that I found isn't it beautiful I mean if you just look at this you can see that there's a lot of detail in this um, I found this for four dollars it's in perfect condition. I honestly can't tell if it was handmade or if um, it was a store-bought item originally. But at any rate, I think this will make a gorgeous, gorgeous jacket. And it's just the right amount of weight to wear. I mean, you could get a lot of wear out of this for at least three out of uh, the four seasons that we have. This is the second one that I found. And it's just a regular quilted blanket that you would purchase in the store for your bed. But I thought that it would look really nice with the previous one that I just showed you. Um, I think this is either a queen or a king size. So there's lots of fabric here. It's in excellent condition. Had no holes, no stains, no nothing. And um, there's a lot that can be done with this. And so here... <laughs> I don't really know why I picked this up. It was one of those things. You know how you go to the thrift store sometime and you, you pass by something and you think to yourself, I really don't want that, but I have a feeling that when I get home, I'm going to wish that I picked it up and I'll come back for it and it won't be here. That is what was going on right here. So, I mean, again, all kinds of opportunities, sweatshirts, sweatpants, sweatsuits, uh, house slippers, um, jackets coats you name it i am so excited to get into some of these textiles this one i thought was divine in terms of the color and all the little fur delay um um how do they call that uh when you you use your uh, the, the long arm yeah the long arm work that was done for the quilting here it does have a small blemish uh there's a hole right there but la dee da i mean that's not gonna stop me from doing anything and i have a really pretty sweater that has this color in it and i just thought ooh wee i think with this one i might make an entire sweatsuit the fiber is just a nice it's a perfect weight you know like for us a pair of sweats a jacket and um pants or jacket and skirt so let me also show you guys this is something that I came up with a phenomenal idea because I really didn't find initially. Now I have some other things I'm not going to show on this video. I'll wait to show on a different video. But um, there's some other quilts that I have purchased. I've got a ton. I mean, I'm a little embarrassed to show all of them at once. So I'm going to make this a part one and part two video. But um, the ones that I really was looking for initially are the ones that are, you know, done, you know, like your grandma would get together and actually make a quilt it was made out of patchwork fabric couldn't find them if I did find them they were either too expensive I didn't want to pay you know 40 50 dollars plus I mean some of them were even like 125 if you go to like a lot of um 
antique shops around Christmas time, that's just not the right time to shop for them. The best time to shop is in the summer. So I initially started shopping around the holidays. Well, I'm going to wait now until this summer and I think I'll be able to score some for a price that I'm willing to pay. <laughs> so I just happened to start noticing um, pillowcases. Look at that beautiful textile. I mean, there's so much potential here. I mean, can you see it? The sleeve for a jacket, the front, a jacket front. So yes, or even a skirt. Mmm. Q, Q, Q. So I started picking up on these pillowcases. And the good thing about these is they have extra fabric here on the back that already, you know, could um, be used for lining. But you really don't need it because both sides, both sides of the fiber are in beautiful condition with all of these. And so that makes it really nice for making jackets because you don't have to line them. I mean, here's another cute opportunity here. I mean, oh, I can't wait to start making. I mean, what do you guys think? What should I make? I, I'm feeling like a jacket. I'm gonna pull this down because I want makeup to get on it. But, oh my gosh, I mean, was that, would that be a cute jacket or what? Can you see it? Can you catch the vision? So this is what I do when I go thrift shopping. I always pray, I'll be like, Lord, I remember Ruth in the Bible. Ruth was a poor widow and she needed sustenance. She needed her daily um, needs met. She didn't have enough to provide for herself. So she would go into the fields and glean behind the reapers. The reapers would go and reap the harvest. During harvest time, they would go and pick all of the good crops, but they would leave some behind. Things would drop and fall. And for those of us who garden, we know we always have more than enough, right? We usually can't gather up everything that is produced. So she would go and she would glean in the fields behind the reapers. And she was allowed to do this, you know. And so I, I always pray when I go to the thrift store, Lord, <laughs> I'm going gleaning today. I'm going to clean up some of something somebody else didn't want, right? And so I just ask God to bless me in my in my journey and in my endeavor. And I mean, God doesn't owe me anything. He doesn't have to do anything for me. But I just look at it that way when I go to the thrift store because I'm like, you know, there's a lot of discarded items there, right? Things that people have thrown away, tossed to the side and figured they no longer had use for. And it, that's my story. I've been tossed aside. I've been counted as useless. And God came along and he picked me up and he cleaned me up. And he made something new and beautiful out of my life. And I'm thankful for that. And I know I'm just talking about material things here. But I wanted to give you that analogy that that's how I think a lot of times when I'm in the thrift store. I'm thinking I'm going gleaning for some something. And I'm going to pick up another man's trash. It's going to be my treasure. And I'm going to make something beautiful out of it. So I hope you'll come back and watch the video. Um, when I picked this up, I, I, I looked at this and do you see what I see here? I mean, what do you guys see? I see a pocket, right? Like if this was a skirt, this could be a cute little side pocket. You could put your hands in here on the side. You have another one on the opposite side. Anyway. I think you're going to like the finished product. You may not be able to fully catch the vision now, but there's a lot of potential here. And I can't wait to go, to show you all what I'm going to make. I can't wait to just make. Oh, I spend so much time trying to make these little videos. I am not good with making videos, but I am good at sewing. Oh, I have to show this. Isn't this beautiful? Oh! 
actually purchased this one for $1.99. And I thought this would make a really cute upcycle for spring. I think I'm going to make a little mini skirt and put some denim on the back. Incorporate some, a light denim from a pair of jeans. Ooh, wait. Mm. <laughs> I'm so excited. Yeah, so this one, I'm thinking like a long skirt and a matching jacket. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Which one should I make first, you guys? Guess. Guess what I'm going to do first. You have to come back and find out. So, yeah, in terms of pricing, all of the pillowcase sets were like, uh, I am not kidding, $1.99 for the set. I bought several at a time, and I had a coupon, of course, so I paid a lot less than that per set. Per set. A buck ninety-nine per set. That is on. Believe have you priced quilted garments? I mean, they really are all the rage right now, and they are not cheap. Um, that yellow one that I pulled out, this solid one, I think out of the whole bunch, this was the most expensive one, believe it or not. This had a $16.99 price on it, and I had a five dollar off coupon that day. So still, I mean, for eleven dollars and some change. A brand new coat, a coat of many, many colors. Well, this won't be many colors if I use it by itself, but if I mix it with that other yellow, I don't know how well I'm in focus completely, but I'll try to show you guys uh, my design process, how I pull other fibers and start my um, design work. But I just wanted to share, if you're interested, and watching me make things, if you'd like to make things with me, um, if you have any suggestions, any comments, I would sure like to hear from you. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Go ahead and hit that button, boo, because it don't cost you nothing to hit that button. Thanks for tuning in. Come back and see what I make. Catch you on the next one. Peace.